A large storm will be coming to the United States over the next few days, and this is going to bring the return of severe weather, including damaging winds, large hail, and even a couple of tornadoes. Additionally, we are expecting a heat wave to build once again in the United States with the return of summer on the way right before we officially reach fall. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And right now, we actually have an intense low pressure pressure system and is currently located over Wyoming and we've seen some showers and storms actually spin off of this anywhere from New Mexico all the way back into the Dakotas so definitely get ready for some isolated severe weather today and tomorrow out of this low pressure system additionally we are monitoring a threat of isolated severe weather today across parts of the Midwest we'll talk more about that here in just a moment all along the East Coast we're really looking pretty quiet for most of the East Coast the only exception is Florida where we do have a lot of moisture in this area luckily there's there's nothing tropical with this moisture, but showers and thunderstorms are going to continue to be a possibility over the next couple of days. And I also do want to mention that we are keeping an eye on the tropics, as I do think by the end of September, we are going to start to see the ramp up of hurricane season. Now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And to look at that, we are going to look at our mid-level flow and our jet stream. This is what it looks like right now. We actually have a low pressure system that once again is pretty intense for this time of the year in the mid-levels back over in Wyoming and Colorado. Also, very strong southwesterly and southerly flow. This is helping to pull moisture out of the Gulf. Additionally, wind shear is actually increasing. So we have a little bit of an interesting setup today and tomorrow, where I do anticipate large hail and damaging winds to be the biggest concern today across parts of the northern and central plains, even back into New Mexico. And then tomorrow, we should see a more elevated threat of not just damaging winds and hail, but maybe even a couple of tornadoes or land spouts from North Dakota back into Kansas. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. We also have a ridge that is built in across parts of the Midwest and also back into the Southern Plains. This is keeping things a bit drier and also warmer for this time of the year. Now, as we go into early next week, that low pressure system will continue to actually move off to the north, which isn't something you see very often. This will once again elevate our tornado threat tomorrow, mainly across the Northern Plains, perhaps even parts of Nebraska and Kansas on Sunday. By Monday and Tuesday, we're going to see another little low pressure system, a little shortwave trough move over the Northern Plains that could bring some local localized severe weather Tuesday and Wednesday to parts of the Midwest and the Northern Plains, but it'll be a very localized area. Another thing I want to point out is that we are going to keep an eye on a small little disturbance back along the East Coast that might become something by the middle of this week when it comes to showers and thunderstorms. If it stays just offshore, there is a low chance of some sort of tropical development, but I think the odds of that are very low at this time. As we go into Thursday and into Friday, we got another shortwave trough that is going to try to make its appearance back over in the Midwest. This could bring a reinforcement of showers showers and thunderstorms and perhaps even some isolated severe weather to the Great Lakes region on Friday and then by the weekend and early next week this active weather pattern will likely continue especially in the northern plains in the Midwest not seeing a whole lot in the way of significant severe weather but there will at least be some isolated severe weather here for at least the next seven days now before we talk more about the severe weather I do want to mention that we are going to see much warmer temperatures over the next seven to ten days that is because our polar air is not going to be coming out of Canada so the below average weather that we saw for the first couple of weeks of September that is no more we're right back to above average temperatures by Monday and Tuesday look how warm it's going to get here across the Midwest and even back into the Ohio Valley well above average temperatures are going to return which means that temperatures for high temperatures will be back up into the 80s and even some low 90s in some spots and then by the time we go into the middle and end of the week that warm weather will continue we're going to get probably another reinforcement of warm air as we go into the next week of September so around September 22nd across parts of the Central Plains as well and then some cold weather may start to make a return but as of right now there's not really much of any signs of actual below average temperatures that are going to be in a widespread area making any sort of big return to the United States now the actual temperatures look a little bit like this we're talking about mostly 80s and 90s for the next couple of days today we're looking at 100s even across parts of the Midwest including northern Missouri and southeastern Iowa as we go into Sunday those temperatures look really warm even back up into the Dakotas and even Minnesota we're right back into the low to mid 90s which is also going to help to create the potential for some severe storms later tomorrow afternoon, right for NFL Sunday. And then as we go into Monday, we are talking about widespread 80s and 90s across the southeast Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, all the way back up into the northern plains. Very few areas are really going to be dealing with below average temperatures at all for most of next week. So get ready. This hot weather is only going to continue to get worse for much of the United States. Some relief will likely come by the end of the week for those in the Midwest and the northern plains. But aside from that, it is going to be 
be a hot stretch of weather here over the next week or two as we continue to go throughout the rest of summer. And the Climate Prediction Center also agrees with this forecast. The Climate Prediction Center does indicate that anytime between September 18th and 22nd, there's a higher than normal likelihood that we'll see above average temperatures, and that is for the entire United States. This is the first time in quite a while that we've seen a graphic literally outline every single state in at least some shading of orange or red. So that basically means it is going to be a hot stretch of weather here over the next couple of weeks. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, beginning with today, which is Saturday, and we have two marginal threats of severe weather in place, one of which goes from the Dakotas back into New Mexico, and another one right across the Midwest. This includes over 20 million people today. The biggest concern will be isolated damaging winds. Isolated large hail is also a possibility. Not looking at much in the way of a tornado risk. However, I do think an isolated tornado threat does exist later this afternoon, mainly from northeastern Colorado all the way back into North Dakota. And speaking of tornadoes, there was actually a tornado yesterday in Rain, North Dakota. This was a video shot, and this is pretty crazy stuff. I mean, we don't usually see tornadoes in the month of September. North Dakota, though, did have a tornado yesterday. We could see something like this today, which is why I am pointing it out. And then as we go into Sunday, the threat of severe weather will continue from the northern plains all the way back into the Texas panhandle, where there is a large marginal threat of severe weather. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw a level two out of five slight risk added to parts of the Dakotas and even Nebraska on Sunday. Biggest concern is going to be damaging winds and isolated large hail. However, the Storm Prediction Center has added a pretty lengthy 2% tornado risk that does expand from North Dakota all the way back into northern Kansas. The biggest reason why is because we're going to have a lot of wind shear right around this low pressure system that is ejecting over the Rockies. So I do expect at least a couple of tornadoes tomorrow. And in the event that we do get a more concentrated area for a threat of severe weather tomorrow, there is a chance of a live stream. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified if we do go live. Now let's talk more about the timing of severe weather beginning with today across the northern plains. There will be a few storms that will fire up right around 4 to 7 o'clock, mainly from South Dakota back into central North Dakota. One or two rogue supercells could potentially produce the threat of large hail, damaging winds, and even an isolated tornado. So something to keep an eye on. And then as we go into the overnight hours, showers and storms will continue to spin around that low pressure system. A very defined spin will definitely be in place by tomorrow afternoon in South Dakota. Anything surrounding that low pressure system will be able to spin and any storms that grow enough in size could produce the potential for a tornado or two. So definitely stay weather aware later tomorrow afternoon and into the evening hours. Again, these storms are going to be kind of spotty. They may even be embedded kind of in some of these heavier areas of rain so there is even a chance that we could see something rain wrap tomorrow as well so definitely stay weather aware and have multiple ways to receive warnings and then across the central plains there will be some scattered showers and thunderstorms today i'm not expecting much in the way of a tornado risk down here i think it'll be mostly just isolated large hail and damaging winds out of the strongest storms some localized flooding is also a possibility tomorrow morning showers will be out there in kansas and nebraska some storms will try to fire off behind it and even out in front of that little cluster around four to five o'clock we'll be watching mainly for wind and hail there is again a low chance of an isolated tornado out of this particular event and then by around six to seven o'clock these storms will continue to march across parts of western iowa near omaha and also just to the north of kansas city i would not rule out again isolated severe weather even closer to the omaha area sometime around four to seven o'clock so definitely stay weather aware here there is going to be a risk again of an isolated tornado and in the case we do get a tornado warning somewhere in this area where there's more population there is a chance of a live stream so stay tuned to the channel and then back over in the midwest we are anticipating at least some isolated severe weather this morning across northern illinois southern wisconsin the biggest concern here will be isolated damaging winds and hail not looking at much in the way of a tornado risk a very very low chance of that happening in this environment as we go into the afternoon the severe weather threat will wind down and then on sunday we are not talking about anything in the way of severe weather but some pop-up showers and thunderstorms are possible near st louis and also back through des moines as we go later into the work week though severe weather will begin to make a return in parts of the midwest but it should still remain isolated now beyond saturday and sunday we are expecting showers and storms to continue across the great plains a little storm system will continue to circle in the northern plains by the time we go into wednesday and thursday we'll see an attempt at least of another shortwave trough to move across the northern and central plains in the midwest and even back into the great lakes this could lead to some isolated severe storms during the middle and end of the week but nothing really that concrete is currently in place in this particular particular scenario and then by the time we get closer to the weekend we'll be watching for showers and storms along the east coast another trough may make an appearance early next week in the northern plains but really anything beyond this upcoming weekend is very uncertain we'll have to be watching the tropics pretty closely i do think we're going to start to see the return of hurricane season
season. I know it's been very quiet so far this year, but we are going to see more rising motion across the Gulf and even across the Caribbean Sea here very soon, and even in the Atlantic, which could lead to some tropical storms and hurricanes forming at the end of the month. For now, the tropics are still relatively quiet. We do have one area of development that has a medium chance of formation. It does not appear as if this is going to be any impact to the United States, even if it were to form, but it will likely turn out to sea. Could become some sort of tropical storm or hurricane sometime later this work week into the weekend, so we'll be keeping a close eye on this. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Our next forecast probably will not be until at least Monday, if not Tuesday, as the weather is still fairly quiet, aside from what we're seeing tomorrow. Again, low chance of a live stream, so stay tuned to the channel, and we'll see you guys all again in the next video or live stream.